Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm a client of Sure Hair International. Um, I've been with Sure Hair for about three or four years. And I started to experience um, thinning hair when I was around 26. And at first um, was not even admitting to myself that there was an issue. Um, but I started to get increasingly uncomfortable with it and it started to affect um, my confidence and my um, comfort level in social situations a lot. Um, but for a long time I didn't deal with it uh, because I think a part of me was kind of afraid to even go and talk to anyone because it made it real. <laughs> um, and I was slightly embarrassed um, to go and talk to people about it too. But um, when I did, it, it ended up being a great decision um, for many, many reasons. Um, it's just, it, if, there, if you're afraid of something, if there's something that's eating away at you and you don't deal with it, um, you can get very angry and unhappy. And again, I just swept it under the rug and said, okay, whatever, I'll just part it over here and it'll look fine. But it started to get worse and worse and it happened pretty fast. It wasn't a slow progression of thinning. It, it started to get worse very quickly. And it got to the point where I couldn't ignore it anymore. Um, so I, did, I decided that I needed to do something about it. Started doing a little more homework and came across Sure and, you know, went for a consultation and was very pleased to discover that there were some very natural solutions. Um, um, the main thing that I got out of it, just choosing to deal with the problem as opposed to just allowing myself to be angry about it, um, was just that it gave me a sense of peace and relief, um, you know, that I could have my hair back. Yeah, you know, it's just, I don't think, see, I, I kind of, I don't want to send the wrong message in, in the sense that I'm, don't feel worthwhile unless my hair is full and beautiful, because that's not true. Some people might get sad, some people might get, become introverted, remove themselves from social situations, but I was just ticked off. <laughs> and that's not a good way to live. You know, carrying that feeling around with you whenever the wind blows, feeling self-conscious or feeling like, oh God, can people tell that my hair is thinning, that kind of stuff. I have gone skydiving with it. Really? Yes. <laughs> that was another fear I was determined to conquer, skydiving. But I don't know, I've, I've actually cliff dived with it. Really? Which is strange, because like you'd think, like when you, you go straight down when you cliff dive, right? So, and the water pressure would kind of just push everything up and where would it come off? Didn't come off. How, how high did you jump out of your house? Uh, we were about, oh, it's hard to say, maybe 40 feet up. But um, like you can see, you can wear it up in a ponytail. Looks completely natural, feels completely natural. And uh, I do all kinds of sports. I'm at the gym every day, I weight lift, um, I run. I've done martial arts in it. No issues? No issues, no. But I also did want to say um, to women that are just experiencing hair loss now, you've just started to experience it. It does get easier um, to deal with it. You come to terms with it, but the worst thing you can do is ignore it. If it is bothering you. Let's talk a little bit more in depth about so so Tara, who you're actually friends with, so Tara yeah. works here. She's, yeah. the, she's the manager, the salon manager. Yeah. She approached you and said, "Hey, we're looking to do a documentary style yeah. kind of video, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and tell me what your, your your thought process was and why inevitably you you agreed to do this." Cause okay. Yeah. You are a client of ours. I just want to be yep. sure you're a client. Yep. You long term client. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not being paid to do this. Nope. You're, you've freely decided. Yes. Yeah. So uh, there's a couple reasons. Um, well, when she first approached me, I, I just kind of looked at her and went, <laughs> no, uh, I'm not going to go online <laughs> and out myself. <laughs> yeah. um, but then I walked away and I thought about it. And I thought about it for a week or two. It wasn't like I just, you know, made a snap decision, but really internalized um, the idea. And, and I just thought, um, you're being silly. Like, this is, 
number one, not your fault that this happened to you. Number one, there's no reason to be ashamed, you know. Um, and you can help a lot of people by sharing your story. Um, but also it, it confirms for me that I have seriously gotten a handle on any emotional issues that this has caused me in my life. Being able to sit here and talk to people about this and show them what's happened and the actual process of removing the system and putting it back on, that is, it's full exposure. <laughs> um, and it was initially something I thought, no way in hell I could do that. But um, it's, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. At the end of the day, it's just one more problem that needs solving. It's just, uh, yeah, it's... One less thing to worry about. One less thing to worry about, exactly. And you want to go about your life worrying about real things, like, you know, maybe helping people in foreign countries or doing community work or just being a good parent. You don't want to be sitting there stewing over your hair. Of all things, it's just hair. Yep. It pulls focus from the things in life that really matter. If you don't deal with it and it does bother you, it, it's all consuming. Um, and if there's something about your appearance that you're unhappy with and that's preventing you from reaching out to people, being social, being confident at work, then dealing with it is... You know, even though it might be embarrassing, it might be scary, dealing with it is going to give you a better life in the end, right? That's really what it comes down to. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, there was a lot of apprehension and a lot of fear, you know, doing this today, showing people um, my monk look. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I, yes, I'm extremely proud of myself for doing it. Um, when I walk out of here today, I'm a different person, I'm stronger. And I've defeated this. To me, that is the absolute best. As a closer, don't let your self-worth diminish over this. It is not worth it. This is just hair. But at the same time, I understand you wanna look good, you wanna feel good, you wanna have that outward confidence. This was one of the best decisions I've made for myself that way because, um, again, it allowed me to just pull focus to different things, more important things in my life. You know, hanging upside down on the monkey bars with my nieces. Yes, I love to do that. <laughs> I'm 35 years old. I love to do that. <laughs> okay.